A febrile seizure is a seizure that occurs in a child between one month to five years of age and associated with a febrile illness, usually a viral infection. It is important to know that febrile seizures do not occur as a result of central nervous system infection, such as meningitis and encephalitis. Febrile seizures only occur in the setting of a febrile illness, and there are no other seizure-provoking underlying causes such as epilepsy, metabolic problems such as hypoglycemia and electrolyte abnormalities, head injury, seizure-provoking medications and other medical illnesses. Children who get febrile seizures have a strong genetic predisposition for the condition, and often there is a first-degree relative with the same condition. Febrile seizures can be broadly categorized into simple febrile seizures and complex febrile seizures. A simple febrile seizure is a generalized seizure, which means that it involves the whole body with no focal activity. It lasts less than 15 minutes. There are no recurrences within the next 24 hours or during the same febrile illness. Simple febrile seizures do not cause brain damage. And about 1-2% to of children with simple febrile seizures can develop epilepsy later in their lives. By contrast, complex febrile seizures will manifest as focal neurological activity. They last more than 15 minutes, and they tend to recur within the next 24 hours or during the same febrile illness. Febrile seizures tend to recur when the child gets a fever again. This occurrence typically resolves after 5 years of age. There is a minor chance of the child getting epilepsy following febrile seizures, especially if there is a positive family history for epilepsy and in the setting of complex febrile seizures. Treatment of febrile seizures varies according to the child's presentation. If the child is having a seizure at the time of admission, airway, breathing, and circulation should be assessed. Then the child should be put into the left lateral position. Oxygen should be given via face mask. Intravenous access is necessary to give anti-epileptic medications, and rectal paracetamol should be given to control fever. Once the child is stabilized, active measures should be taken to control and find the cause for the fever. And most importantly, parents of the child should be reassured. Long-term anti-epileptic drugs are not required for febrile seizures.